Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes and welcome to my channel. Today, an important video about the prostate. I want to talk to you a little bit about what it does and how to keep it healthy. You know, nowadays, it seems like um, everybody over 60 years of age has a enlarged prostate. And the technical term for that is um, benign, uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. And um, it's almost like a common thing, like a normal part of getting old. But it's not, it's not what it is. <laughs> it's a disease process. And your prostate, if you're a man, it shouldn't be getting larger as you age. If it's doing that, it's because of imbalances with your hormone system. Your body has testosterone, and that's a good thing. And it converts the testosterone into something called DHT. And it uses an enzyme called 5-alpha uh, reductase. It isn't really important, the name, but the idea is that it takes testosterone and makes something else called DHT. Now, this DHT is really important, especially when you're young and going through puberty. And it's the reason why our voice deepens, we get hair on our chest, right? Our penis grows in length and size, and we mature. So it's important. As we get old, older, the ratio from testosterone to DHT should be balanced. But in a lot of people, unfortunately, more than 30% of men over 60 years of age, that ratio, it's not balanced anymore. And you're producing too much uh, DHT. Now, why does that happen? There's all sorts of theories, but I'll keep it simple for you. It happens because you're not healthy. If you stay healthy through diet, eating right, exercise, getting enough sleep, and having a healthy sex life, that should not happen. So always remember that if your prostate is getting larger, it's a disease process and it's a signal that you're probably doing some things wrong or not doing enough in the areas of health. Remember that a healthy body doesn't get sick in the first place. That's really the key. But what if your prostate is getting larger? What if you're starting to see symptoms, things like nocturia or, or you know, having to get up a lot at night to urinate? Or you're seeing when you do urinate, you're not getting a good stream. It's hard for you to empty your bladder. What if you're getting sexual dysfunction? What if you're just getting pain in that area? Then that's probably a good sign that your prostate is not doing the job that it's supposed to do. In severe cases, medical prescribed drugs are probably necessary and maybe even surgery. Again, in severe cases. But in mild to moderate cases, we can do an awful lot with some different herbs. There's a lot of studies on this. I'm not going to quote all the studies, but I am going to post a reference source in case you want to read the studies that I'm using for this video that you can look at. There are studies with thousands of men showing that the following herbal combinations work to alleviate a lot of the symptoms and keep the prostate healthy. So what are these magic herbs that we're interested in to keep our prostate healthy? Well, first we want to look at saw palmetto, uh, stinging nettle root, and pumpkin seed oil extract. So these three herbs work really good together. And what they're designed to do is prevent the prostate basically from getting larger. It's believed that they work on that mechanism of conversion of the testosterone to the, DH, uh, to the DHT. And so these herbs work together to keep that in check and to keep that hormone system balanced. They're also great anti-inflammatories. They're also anti-cancer. There's a load of things these herbs do, but we're focused here mainly on the prostate. That combination of saw palmetto, um, nettle root, and uh, pumpkin seed oil together are really a great way to keep the prostate in check. Also, there's another product called Crativa. And I believe Crativa is known as um, garlic pear or something like that, like holy garlic pear or something like that, but it's called Crativa. And what Crativa does is it tones the bladder. So if you remember what I said, that when the prostate gets larger, it can put pressure on the bladder and those surrounding nerves and structures, that can cause a lot of irritation to the bladder. So what Crativa does, it works, works to strengthen the bladder and tone the bladder. It's a great product. It's in a couple of other uh, meta herb products like their cranberry complex, which I recommend a lot of times for women who have reoccurrent UTIs, and that Crativa is a big part of that. So we're going to take the Crativa for the toning of the bladder and the urinary system, the salt palmetto, the pumpkin seed oil extract, right, and the nettle root. 
We're going to get all of those herbs together in a formulation by Meta Herb called Prostate Complex, also known as Prostaco. You take one of these tablets three times a day, it will do the job. You'll see results in a few weeks. And these are safe products that you could take over a long period of time to maintain health of the prostate or until your symptoms get to a point that they're more manageable. Um, if you're having uh, problems with especially going to the bathroom where you're going up to the toilet, you're standing there, you're having problems relaxing enough to get the urine to come out, if that's something you're experiencing, also I would recommend looking into something called valerian complex. And I've spoken about valerian complex many times on this channel. It is my number one go-to for anxiety. It relaxes the nervous system but does not make you tired or drowsy so you can take it throughout the day. And it works great for those types of things, for anxiety, panic attacks, all those things. What I failed to tell you was that it's also probably the very best muscle relaxer that I recommend to patients. So if you're getting a lot of tension in this area of your body, Valerian Complex is going to relax those nerves and allow you to produce a more normal flow of urine. So also look into that if that is specifically something you're having trouble with. Got to remember that as the prostate doesn't work properly, it can grow larger and it can put pressure on the urinary bladder and on the nerves in that area. Those nerves go to a lot of places. They go to the penis, they go to the testicles, they go to the bladder, they go to a lot of different muscles in that area, little muscles that control different things. If those nerves are irritated, if they're pinched, if you've got a pinched nerve because of your prostate, then taking something like the aforementioned herbs with the anti-inflammation effect, it's going to calm down that, that irritation. But then adding valerian complex is going to even take it a step farther and really just relax those nerves where all of a sudden you may find you are able to get an erection easier. You are able to produce um, urine with a normal flow. So please look into that as well. Finally, I just want to speak about, a bit about testosterone. Testosterone is not the bad guy. <laughs> it's great. Testosterone is important and it's very valuable to both men and women. And so we need to have good levels of testosterone to feel good, to have a good sex life, to build muscle, to have vitality, to feel good. And so if you are having problems with your prostate and you're addressing it with prostate complex, another product I would highly recommend you look into is called Tonkat Ali. Tonkat Ali is a very special herb that is going to increase your testosterone levels in your body naturally. Now this is very different than going and getting a, a shot every two weeks or something of testosterone sipenate or taking anabolic steroids. This is a situation where you're taking testosterone from an external source and bringing it into your body and I'm not in favor of that because that can throw off things pretty quickly. What I'm talking about is taking Tonkat Ali and you take one of these tablets three times a day um, with food is fine and what it's going to do it's going to make your own hormonal system more responsive to the testosterone that is already in your body. So we produce this testosterone and it you know floats around in our body but it's no good until we can grab it and use it and we have receptors that help us do that. Tonkat Ali is going to make those receptor, receptors more sensitive so that we can utilize our own natural production of testosterone better. I have seen men who suffered from uh, you know, absolutely no libido at all. Um, they couldn't build muscle. They were tired all the time. They were just ready to give up basically. They had no drive. I asked them to take Tonkat Ali three times a day and I've seen them in about three to four weeks changed people. They're working out, they're exercising, their sex lives are back, they feel good and that is without having to take an external source of testosterone. So I highly recommend you look into Tonkat Ali as well when you're trying to figure out how to keep the prostate healthy. One final thing is if you're concerned about the health of your prostate, please go and get a blood test to check your PSA. PSA is a fluid that your prostate produces naturally. It combines with semen. It's very important for fertility, for sex health. Um, and you can, you can test your PSA with a blood test. 
You want that PSA level to be very low. If you get a blood test and your PSA level is not within a normal limit, then definitely follow up and get some professional um, opinions on what's going on. Don't leave it. Don't be afraid to leave it. Also, if you're more adventurous, the prostate lies very close to the rectum. And if you insert your finger into your rectum, maybe put some lubrication on it, go into the rectum and hook it towards the front of your body, you can very easily feel your own prostate. It's not difficult to do. And I realize that for a lot of people, they're not gonna do that. That's fine, you can go to your doctor. Your doctor can perform it as well. These um, uh, prostate exams in the past, there's been a lot of hype about them. There's been a lot of fun made about them. Look, they are very easy to do. Honestly, you hardly even feel it. It's not a big deal at all. It's all mental. And you can just go in, feel the prostate, that prostate should be about the size of a ping pong ball. It should be fairly soft and comfortable to touch, like a rubbery, like a rubber ball almost. Um, there are two nodules there, that two, not nodules, I shouldn't say that, two sections that you could feel. So there is like a little division there in two areas, but there should be no nodules. So you shouldn't be able to feel any hard little bumps on it or anything like that. Also, it should be fairly uh, firm but not, again, rigid, and uh, it shouldn't be spongy and really soft, and definitely shouldn't hurt. There should be no pain associated with, a, um, with, your, with your examination of that area. And so you can check your own prostate if you'd like, see how it feels, uh, discuss it with your primary care doctor, keep your prostate healthy, don't just ignore it, it's a great organ, it's an important organ for overall male health, and um, some of these herbs can really help. If you're interested in getting a uh, prostate complex or um, the valerian complex or the uh, tongue cat Ali, which I know everybody's gonna wanna go and get tongue cat Ali, right? <laughs> you can buy these things directly from Standard Process with a patient direct account. And there is um, information about how to do that on my website, drstephenstokes.com. Please reach out in the comments or contact me personally if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll talk again soon. Thank you.